Chartered Accountant Frank Myers appeared to have questioned the rationale behind the need for two major hospitals on St. Lucia. The guest on Newsmaker Live on Wednesday was reacting to a TV news report on the recent announcement by the SLP administration that the government has secured a $200 million loan from the Saudi fund to conclude the much-delayed St. Jude project. In, actually, in, in conversation with someone the other day, a, a rather interesting point came up. <coughs> and um, it, 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 it is thus, does St. Lucia need two large hospitals? And the reason that came up was in the context of Barbados, for example, I think they've got just one major hospital. Their population is about twice of uh, 12, twice St. Lucia's. Um, and, uh, and they've got a myriad of polyclinics, etc., and so on. In St. Lucia, we have about 182, 183,000 people. The majority of the population live in the northern half of St. Lucia. But we've con been concentrating, having built OKEU, We've been concentrating on building this large hospital in the southern part of the island. Um, maybe we might have missed the boat some time ago to re-look at the whole concept of healthcare in St. Lucia and determine a more long-term plan for, for how we do things. Communications Director of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Government Senator Lisa Jawayer, has taken umbrage with the comments which she views as misguided and misinformed. It's interesting that somebody who is an accountant will come out and speak on a technical matter, something that he has absolutely no expertise on. But what I do know based on what the st statisticians have said and the heads of the statistics department is that when the census is complete, it doesn't just tell you how many persons are in a household. It also tells you, based on the population of the smallest constituency and balancing it out, it will tell you whether or not that community now needs a hospital. It will tell you whether or not that community now needs a fire station or police station or an additional health center. So if you are seeing or if you've been told and if you know that the population of the South, Viewfort, is over 50,000 persons, how can you make an argument that we do not need a second hospital? I think it's absolutely ridiculous that this conversation is happening. And I think we need to be real with ourselves. When the, the administration was in opposition, they saw the need for a hospital, although they built a second one. So now that we are trying to complete it, there's this argument that there's no need for a hospital. I think we should stop disrespecting the people of the South, over 50,000 of them, and allow for them to have their St. Jude Hospital back. The former Alan Chastney administration and the SLP incumbent have been at odds over the policy direction and financing of the construction project. Jawaye, who welcomed word of the Saudi loan, disputes talk of a work stoppage at the construction site. What Honorable Philip J. Pay, our Prime Minister, has now done, as of November 2022, he did say that the preliminary works in securing the hospital would have commenced. That has never stopped in terms of the work at St. Jude Hospital. So we have said that, of course, various departments need to share more information with the public, but I want the public to know that work never stopped at the St. Jude Hospital, and we say this all the time. There was, of course, a rumor that the contractor took his equipment and left, and that was out in the public sphere. Work has never stopped at the St. Jude Hospital. And what this brilliant fund, uh, this brilliant agreement is doing is something that we should be extremely proud of that our Prime Minister negotiated on our behalf. I mean, a 2% interest rate, a five-year grace period, and the best part of the deal is that disaster clause. The disaster clause allows the government to defer payment of the loan if the island suffers a setback due to a natural calamity like a hurricane. To date, four administrations have failed to deliver the hospital destroyed by fire in 2009. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.